Imagine you find out that the foundations of the house where you live are built on sand. Welcome to Britain and its constitution. My name is John Drummond and I'm here to ask for a few moments of your time to talk about constitutions and in particular a constitution for an independent Scotland. What is a constitution and why does it matter? A constitution is a written fundamental law at the very top of the legal and political system which is superior to ordinary acts of parliament. It defines the state, proclaims the values and principles upon which the state is based. In short, a constitution defines what a country stands for and what it will not stand for. It is a law that is beyond and above government that all political parties must abide by. How many of the world's developed countries do not have a written codified constitution? Only three. Israel, New Zealand and the UK. A British constitution exists, but it's a jumble of conventions, cabinet rules and other half-forgotten changes. It's a very different animal to most constitutions, but more of this later. You, the people of Scotland, are in a unique position in history and a unique moment in history where you will decide what that means for your country. And you can do this by creating a constitution for Scotland. Now this is not hugely complicated. A constitution can be a fairly short, straightforward document. In fact, much of the hard work has already been done by people like Dr. Elliot Bulmer in his excellent books on a constitution for Scotland. And furthermore, it's a major advantage when campaigning on doorsteps to be able to show people that whoever is in charge in an independent Scotland, their rights will be guaranteed. I'm sure many of you will remember the vow presented days before the 2014 referendum. Its very first promise stated that the Scottish Parliament shall be permanent. This could never be the case, as the writers of the vow must have known. Why? Because the UK Parliament is sovereign and it's just not possible for two parliaments in the same state to both be sovereign. Well, we're on the subject of sovereignty, much discussed in relation to Brexit, as you know. You and I and everyone in Scotland are not sovereign. Under the British Constitution, such as it is, you are a subject. The Crown and Parliament is sovereign, not you. One single sentence sums up the British Constitution. And it's this. It is whatever the government of the day with a working majority says it is. The government can literally make up the constitution as it goes along. Witness the Brexit fiasco and the extraordinary efforts made to keep the DUP on board. To sum up, by all reasonable measures that apply in other countries, the British constitution is an oxymoron. A contradiction in terms. To be flippant for a second, a bit like business ethics or military intelligence. Here is your reality. Brexit is happening in a country with a winner-takes-all elections and no written constitution, where all our democratic and human rights depend solely on the goodwill, self-restraint, moderation and moral responsibility of the party of government. Terrifying. Let that sink in. Is that what you want? Here's what you can do. We need a written constitution now. And all can play a part. Seriously, you have the power to change that. You know that the change will not come from Westminster. A good constitution is a major step along the road to a peaceful and democratic, independent Scotland. This is your opportunity. It's in your hands. Be the change you want to see. The choice is stark. Seize your opportunity and chance to shape the new Scotland. <laughs>